kind of thing doesn't happen every day. Here in Norwalk today, we've got some splices that we've identified as bad splices. So today, we're here to replace these splices. We have a 188-foot crane that will be using a man basket to access those splices. There's three phases up there, and it's double dead-ended, which we'll have to rig up both ways on a phase at a dead end. So there's going to be six connectors replaced on this steel tower. The implosive sleeve product is very simply an aluminum tube surrounded with an explosive product that, when uh, detonated, crimps, if you will, the implosive sleeve onto the high voltage conductor, which seals it permanently. Northeast Utilities is the first one to do this in the United States. One of the important things to note about this project is that it's one of the first times that an implosive installation is taking place in an urban setting. It replaces the conventional hydraulic compression system that's been used for so many years. The conventional way of splicing is we would typically install the splice and use a crimping tool and put about 100 tons of pressure down onto the splice and crimp it onto the wire. If that was done conventionally and not with the bare hand method, it could take up to four or five years and we're going to have the project done uh, with Implo in about six months. The implosive device would save about two-thirds of the amount of time otherwise required. Installing Implo splices on an energized situation saves the company a lot of money. And the reason I say that is you're saving in congestion charges in the system. We're also able to install more splices per day because of the process of implosion rather than the crimping process, which would take about 45 minutes to an hour per splice, where we're doing it with the push of a button. And lastly, there's no grounding, and there's no switching in and out of the lines on a daily basis, which saves us probably three hours a day. In this case, with the implosive sleeve, you can uh, do it remotely. You don't need heavy equipment. You can go in and leave a much lighter footprint. But more importantly, these sleeves can be pulled through the stringing blocks, which means that now you don't even need an access road. So there's a significant savings um, all around. It's very easy to install as long as the procedures are followed exactly every time, then uh, the result is the same and perfect every time. It's a safer process. Uh, because of the precautions that we take and because we're using the echo potential theory to install these places. There has never been one implosion failed yet. We are working out of insulated aerial devices with conductive suits on. The linemen are actually energizing themselves to 345 kV or 345,000 volts, which is unique in itself. Once we get that all rigged up, then the connectors will hit a button and initiate it and it'll unplug the new connectors on. We looked at this splice uh, more as just a better connection uh, for the over a thousand splices we need to replace our 2156 size conductor. It's independent of weather conditions, temperature, summer, winter. When these implosive connectors are up, they will be permanent. There's no reason to expect them ever to fail.